invasive species. This is honestly one of my favorite things to talk about. It's just so fascinating to me that our species has introduced animals into unnatural habitats and that those animals have occasionally been able to thrive to the point of driving native species close to extinction. It shows how delicate and balanced the web of life is. When a single new organism is added, an entire ecosystem can drastically change. Obviously this is all horrible, but at the same time it's really interesting. Let's explore this topic a little bit further and check out the five weirdest invasive species on the planet. My name is Jason Miller, and you're watching 5 Weird Animal Facts. Number 1. The Lionfish Not related to regular lions, these beautiful and venomous fish are native to shallow reefs of the Indo-Pacific, but have recently become established along the east coast of the United States, the Bahamas, and the Gulf of Mexico. Lionfish were first reported off of Florida's Atlantic coast in 1985 although nobody really knows who released them there or why. They weren't a very serious threat until the mid-2000s, when their population suddenly boomed. Since then, they've become an increasingly common sight in shallow waters along the east coast. So why is this a problem? Lionfish have this nasty habit of eating anything smaller than them. This not only diminishes native prey fish populations, it also creates competition for food with native predatory fish. In some areas, lionfish have even resorted to cannibalism because they've so drastically reduced the numbers of other fish. Certain locations have reached densities of as many as 200 individual adults per acre. Native predators can't do too much to help reduce their numbers because lionfish have 18 venomous spines on their fins, making them very difficult to eat. In order to combat this gorgeous yet destructive predator, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission encourages recreational lionfish hunting. There's no minimum size limit, bag limit, or even a need for a recreational fishing license as long as you're spearfishing exclusively for lionfish. And from what I hear, they taste pretty dang great. Number two, the giant African land snail. It's a land snail from Africa. That's giant. And also invasive in China, Taiwan, India, islands in the Pacific and Indian Ocean, the West Indies, and in the states of Florida and Hawaii where it eats almost anything with leaves. As far as threatening animals go, snails aren't usually at the top of the list. But this unassuming gastropod can carry a parasitic nematode that can cause meningitis in humans, which is potentially life-threatening. They also reproduce very quickly, producing as many as 1,200 eggs every year. Giant African land snails have ended up in so many different places around the world because they were shipped and sold either as food or as pets and somehow managed to escape. Which is ridiculous because who would want a pet snail that grows to be over 20 centimeters in length. In an effort to biologically control the giant African land snail population in the South Pacific Islands, the United States government released a carnivorous species of snail called the rosy wolf snail. The rosy wolf snail completely ignored the giant African land snail and instead preyed heavily on native snails many of which became extinct within a decade. Whoops. Number three, the gray squirrel. Bet you didn't see that coming. Here in the States, we love our native gray squirrels. However, in England, Scotland, Ireland, and Northern Italy, they have become a deadly and destructive force of pure evil. That's a slight exaggeration, but you get the idea. Invasive gray squirrels in Europe are outcompeting the native red squirrels for resources. The grays are twice as large, better adapted to surviving harsher winters, and are much more territorial and aggressive than the reds. They can also carry squirrel pox, which is deadly to the reds, but seems to have no effect on the grays. So yeah, squirrel pox is a thing. Number four, the brown tree snake. A beautiful, rear fanged and slightly venomous arboreal snake native to Australia, Papua New Guinea, and the Solomon Islands. Near the end of World War II, the brown tree snake was accidentally introduced to the island of Guam as a stowaway on a U.S. military transport. Having no native species to compete with, the nocturnal colubrid quickly became established. Since then, the brown tree snake has been directly responsible for the extinction of most of the island's native forest bird and bat species. This is obviously a very bad thing for the ecosystem as a whole. The U.S. Department of Agriculture has set up several programs to help ensure that the snakes won't become introduced and established on neighboring islands, including setting up a brown tree snake rapid response team and using detector dogs to keep the snakes out of the island's cargo flow. Number 5. The Feral Pig also called wild hogs, they are among the most destructive invasive species in the United States today. Between 2 and 6 million are found in at least 39 states and 4 Canadian provinces. Half of them reside in Texas, where they cause an average of $400 million in damage annually. What makes feral pigs so destructive is the fact that they are opportunistic omnivores, meaning that they eat basically anything. They destroy farmland, uproot acres of native plants, and even dig up and feed on the eggs of endangered sea turtles. Not to mention, they're extremely 
territorial animals whose tusks can inflict pretty serious wounds. In Texas, the pigs are hunted year-round with no bagging limit, and thousands more are shot from helicopters. Although they won't be eradicated anytime soon, hunting feral pigs is strongly encouraged to at least help control their numbers. Just as a final note here, remember that although it's easy to villainize invasive animals, remember that they wouldn't even be invasive if our species didn't introduce them to their unnatural habitats. They're just doing what all animals instinctively do try to survive. It's not their fault that we released them into places where they became way too good at surviving at the expense of native wildlife. So when you're spearing lionfish and shooting feral pigs, please don't do it out of hatred for the animal. Do it because we're the ones who caused the problem and now we're the ones who have to fix it. That's the neat thing about humans. We're the only species capable of destroying the planet, but also the only species capable of saving it. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what animals and topics you want to see in future episodes. Like and share this video and subscribe to Animal Bites TV for more awesome animal things and stuff. If you feel like it, check me out on all my social media. And until next time, my friends, my name is Jason Miller and I'll see you next Monday on 5 Weird Animal Facts.